Uh, just in brief, I'm uh, really honored to be coaching this group of guys. They are fantastic. We're having such a good time together. I really got to know them a little bit better, taking them to many of them up to uh, Canada this summer. We had a terrific lifelong memory trip. And, um, and now we're, we're just trying to do some good in the community. Uh, I think this match on Saturday night is going to be good for the community. It's going to be good for the soccer community for sure. Uh, we hosted a clinic this past weekend, uh, the largest free soccer clinic in, maybe in U.S. soccer history. And uh, we had 138 coaches from Nebraska at it. So we're really excited about that and giving back to the community. Um, Sunday, we're giving away 300 pairs of shoes to, uh, to children uh, who can't afford them and Audrey Shoes for Kids. And today, our guys are heading to South Omaha when they get done here, and we're going to just do random acts of kindness. So we're just, uh, which is going to be fun. We're uh, going to take, um, we're going to do things like clean off people's windshields real quick and put a little sticker on it that says random act of kindness courtesy of Omaha soccer. We're going to be, it's a hot day, so we got bottled waters. We're going to have bottled waters and hand to people. We see a guy working that's on the street, the people out on the street it look hot. We're going to hook them up with bottled waters right there. So we got a few little things we're going to do like that to, to let this community know if they didn't already, Omaha is here for them. Bob, you had mentioned uh, on the day that you were announced as the new coach that the trip up north was one, something that you wanted to do. At that point, it was more just an idea. Um, did you get out of it what you wanted to? And I guess what well, before kind of goals going in, and how'd you feel about it when you got done? Uh, we were you're allowed by NCAA rules to train the the players for ten days. We didn't do those consecutively. We trained pretty darn hard for five days and gave them two and a half days off and then came back and trained pretty darn hard for two and a half days and um, took a couple days off before we went to Canada. And to me, the, the games were great. Everybody loves to play, but uh, to me it was um, getting to know the players. If we hadn't done it, I think uh, I think really, I think I'd have, I'd have really messed up with this guy. Uh, he, I think if we just come here and started my first sessions with the guys yesterday, um, he would have been a center back on the team. And uh, we changed his position. And I'm telling you, I told him today, and I was truthful about it, he was born to play the position we have him in now. And he's been unbelievable for our team and a perfect compliment to Cole in the middle of the midfield. So uh, there was a lot derived out of it, but I think the most important to me, I'm in the game for the kids. And for a guy, we found the right place for him. And he's embraced it, and he's been unbelievable there. So yeah, <laughs> we got something out of it. For you guys, what was the experience like? Uh, I think it was a great experience just being able to get some time away from uh, America, just Nebraska, just being with the team and stuff, just bonding, sightseeing. I just thought it was a really good experience for us. Yeah, I loved it because most of the time, like when we go on away trips, most of the time is spent either in the hotel or kind of it's on the field. So it was really nice to like be able to have the day to go out and see the city and experience a different culture with your team and then obviously it gave us a head start uh, towards the season which is huge. Well, obviously expectations of this program changed last year because we get to the tournament. You get to inherit those. Uh, what kind of hand do you feel like you've been dealt? You know, it might have changed for some people. I don't think it's changed for Jason. It changed for Jason. I mean he, he, he thought he was going to be in the tournament the, every year. I mean we're, he uh, and I share the uh, I think the mindset that we're, we're always positive and we believe in our players. And uh, so maybe outside people's perceptions have changed, which I love, but we need to capitalize on that and keep this thing going and keep it going at a higher level. Jason just wanted one thing. He wanted the program to be relevant. And I told him I'd do my best to do that. Coach, with the performance of Matt Smith up in Canada, 
Uh, keeping a few clean sheets, keeping a few, saving a few penalties as well with him battling for Hugo Trich at the number one spot. What light, if any, can you shed on who you know you've been most impressed with this off season and you know the future of Omaha goalkeeping? It's a great question. Uh, Matt was pretty unproven, I would say. Uh, didn't get to play at all in the fall, and Ugo got hurt during the, the, the before we got ready to go. So we we really had one goalkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I started asking guys like, who could go on a goal if uh, you know if Matt gets hurt? And so things worked out. He got to play all the games. Um, he wasn't good. He was incredible, like absolutely incredible. And in every one of the four games, which any of those games could have gone either way. In soccer, the first goal is super important for how the game's going to go. And in all four games, he didn't make a good save. He made a ridiculous save. Uh, just like stand up and applaud. Even the opposing coach on one of them just was like, oh, my gosh, that was really good uh, play on it. That's, that's what he did there. Uh, we have brought in a couple other goalkeepers. Uh, they're in the mix now, and uh, they're very good as well. So uh, it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a great battle, and, and that's what you need if you want to have a great program. You need competition at every position. With the move at Denzel, obviously you've taken a look at kind of what you have so far. How set do you feel about what you're going to look like both this weekend and your first regular season matches? Or um, are there still some things to shake out? Well, we've had this new family together now for three practice sessions, two yesterday and one this morning. Um, it's probably a little early to tell. You know, you'd like to think this is the way it's going to be, but and everything builds from here. But um, what I have found is that the work ethic of the players is phenomenal, the attitude is phenomenal, and their ability to sacrifice for a little bit of themselves. Good players sacrifice a little bit of what they want to do to make other players better. Um, that's been unbelievable, and their just their positive attitude has been terrific. So I think, I think whatever happens, shape formation-wise, people are going to get injured during the year. Injury rate in college soccer is 100 percent. Everybody gets hurt, and so there'll always be a little bit of adjustments. But uh, right now, the 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 core principles of what's needed to have a great team are here with the group. Well, you captained this group last year, and obviously you guys. Just special things. Uh, I guess what's the transition been like, not only for the change of coaches, but obviously the roster turnover needs to go through every year to get ready for another ball. Right. Well, it, it's been it's been fairly easy. It was kind of tough at first when Mims said that he was going to be leaving. And then there was that period of where we didn't really know who was going to be our next coach. But it was all credit to Bob for coming in and just getting us going right away. I mean, he, he had like, what was it, five practices with us, I think. And uh, we all four, got four. four. It felt like five. So. Four. <laughs> <laughs> so we all got a really good feel for him right away, and you know he he just has this presence, this positivity that I mean it all got it got us started real real well. So I think the transition was tough at first, but it's come along nicely. Cool. Um, you know, having the success that you guys did as a team, uh, affirmation, or did that motivate you to want more because you reached a step? Now you want to sure. Well, I think that it, it definitely st it set the standard because the way that it's worked for me is every year that I've been here, we've gone one game further. And I think that that's a good, a good point to start at because um, with, with these guys leaving, we're, we're losing a lot, but we also have that, that standard and that culture that they've uh, kind of set in stone for us. And I think that a lot of it is motivation because this team is hungry and really, really wants to go further. And we got a taste last year, and I think that in some way that was almost kind of good enough for us, but now we, I think we really want more, and we want to advance further. Vince Hall Coach talked about your transition here. Can you take us through from your perspective? What was that like? Uh, it was tough because, like, playing center back is just different. Like, it, you see the game different from back there. Like, you don't run as much and stuff. But having to get in shape a little bit more to be able to get box-to-box <laughs> -box and stuff, 
yeah, it's just been really tough, like, doing that. But I've had help with, like, a lot of my teammates working out with them this summer and stuff. So it's been fairly easy but difficult at the same time. Guys, uh, in your careers here, it's kind of come down to, you know, when you play Denver and how that result plays out, and that'll impact the next season because it depends on where the tournament's going to end up. Um, obviously, you did what you needed to do to get the tournament here this year. Now you got to go back up there. Um, and for once, it's early in the season is, instead of being one of the later games, I guess. Does that change the outlook on the season at all? Because obviously you need to be peaking at that time, and that time's a lot earlier this year than it is later. Um, well, I, I mean, I think Denver is always a huge game, but our goal every year is to win the conference regular season so that we can bring it back here. And that's, I mean, that's still going to be the goal. Um, with it being earlier, that'll be a game that we'll look forward to. But I think that sort of the mindset doesn't doesn't change much in the way that we want to win every game, and especially those conference games are huge. So that's it. Yeah. Any thoughts on that? I, th I think every game every game is huge, obviously, but last year we struggled a little bit in conference. Like we didn't get the outcome that we wanted to win it to have it back here, which makes it a lot easier having our home fans and stuff. Now we have to go up there, but I think we can do a good job, go up there and win it just the same way as home because we have like great fans too because they always travel with us everywhere we go for the most part. So it should be pretty good. Yeah, That's, I had a chance to ask uh, Coach about this when it happened, but you know, we haven't got a chance to talk to you. How'd you guys uh, react when you heard the news with Elbeer? I'm sure you're happy for him individually, um, but it obviously changes the outlook of the team a little bit. Um, how, how did the team as a group kind of handle that? And what do you do going forward, you know, maybe expecting to have him and now not? Um, well, let's talk about the guys we got on the team. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to talk about that. That's OK. okay. Well, let's just talk happen. about it. And, and I don't mean to be rude, but I, I, only, I only want to talk about our guys. That are here now, and and that didn't mean to be rude on them, but I just let's talk about our guys, if that's okay with you. Yeah, so, coach, uh, talking about big games, I have a game against Craig coming up this Saturday. Considering you've had your full squad together for such a short amount of time, uh, how much stock do you put in this game? You know, for me, and it's 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 good to talk about you know future games in in our in our schedule, but for us uh, solely, there's only one game, and that's our next game. And I know that sounds really old school and everything, and um, but I, I, I really think that we need to keep all of our focus on what our next game is, and that's it. You know, uh, our strength of schedule last year was 158th out of 206 teams. This year, if uh, everything uh, shakes out kind of like it did last year. This schedule is at worst probably top 50 in the country and could be much higher. So we, we can't be looking ahead too much because if you start looking ahead, you're going to see a lot of really great teams ahead they are playing. And we need to keep our focus really on, on right now it's Saturday, and that's it. We're not even thinking about anything else. What do you think about Saturday, especially for you having the title of the program that you're going to play? The uh, I, I love Creighton. I do. Uh, it's it's it was Creighton soccer was my baby. I started the program from its inception, but uh, I want them to win every game except when we play against us. I want us to have this the greatest rivalry in college soccer within five miles of each other. And that will happen if both of us are wildly successful. Um, if we're both in the final four together, it'll be the greatest thing for the sport in this community that could possibly happen. So if you ask me my fantasy about it, that would be it. Some people, I think, you know, just want them to do poorly. Um, and I get that. But my emotion is different, and it would be less than truthful to say, I want them to win every game, but not Saturday night. <laughs> not even close. All right, we got time for one more question. Well, Jason uh, was always big on that becoming an annual match that you have every fall during the regular season. Obviously, it wasn't this year, and you worked around it by getting it to be your exhibition. Would that then be what you would want going forward, too, that, you know, that there is this night for the community every year? We have a. Uh, we have a, a match on the schedule during the regular season through 2021. 
now. And uh, Elmar and I are probably going to have a soda together next week and sit down and talk about some other things we might do because I think he sees the value, uh, as we certainly do, about helping make the soccer in this community be, continue to grow.